Today, the topic is damage prevention. Um, you know, in, in, in the environments that we work in, especially for utility and the contractors installing those utilities, um, the environment is, 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 can be very challenging. Um, the underground infrastructure is continuing to increase, and we're always trying to find ways to, to excavate safer, um, to minimize damage to underground facilities, ultimately protecting the public. One of those issues that we want to really want to highlight today is, is cross-board mitigation. And what I mean by that is, how do you avoid underground sewer lines? Um, so going forward today, you're going to see a couple of spurts of, of different contractors talking about how they avoid underground sewer lines, uh, what are some of the best practices out there, and going forward, you know, how do we continue to expand in this area? You're going to see a couple examples of what a bore looks like through a sewer, sewer lateral. Um, you're also going to look at some of the different techniques that you're going to be able to identify. What are some of the technologies out there we can use to mitigate some of those damages? Well, if you're not safe run, running that drill and you're not finding your laterals as you're, as you're crossing them, uh, for gas, for instance, if you clipped a one-inch gas service to a home, and even if we didn't know about it, the, the risk could be severe. Uh, that gas, that natural gas, could run up that trench line to that home, ignite, and actually explode that home. Same thing with, with water. You know, you, you hit a water service as well, you know, you can get soot and debris in that line, and if, they, if that's not properly cleaned, you know, they could, they could potentially be drinking it. If I had to give advice to somebody that was just starting on a directional bore machine, I think the first thing I would tell them is to be patient. It's a learning experience. You're not going to figure it out in one day or one year. I've been doing it for almost 20 years, and there's still things that I, I'm willing to learn and, and make things easier, safer, faster. So in, in terms of a new guy coming in, Take your time. It, it's not a it's it, it's not a bulldozer. It's a finesse machine, and the easier you are with it, and let that machine do what it's supposed to do. Uh, you'll have longevity of that machine, and, and uh, things will go smooth, and costs will stay down. <laughs>